this is Jason Linford. I just wanted to share a quick thought. Um, so the other day, some of you may have seen it, I, I put a Facebook post up that asked, what would you say if I told you that there was a way for you to make five figures a week? And the responses I got were very mixed. Some people were very eager to learn. Other people were very skeptical and very, um, you know, standoffish and what is it going to be? And some of them flat out said, oh crap, there's no way to do it. I'm sorry, but it's not true. And it, and it just, it kind of made me sit back a little bit and wonder where the different responses originate from. Why? Why were some so willing to say, "Let me see how you're, how you can be done," and I'll, and some, but show, show me somebody that's doing it, and I'll do it. And other people didn't even, didn't even ask about that. They just said, "Bull crap." Can't, I don't believe it. One of the statements that was made just really hit me hard, and I've heard it. Everyone's heard it millions of times, but this time it really settled in, and it really um, resonated in that. In, in what it entails with us. But it's the statement, it's, if it sounds too good to be true, then it probably is. Now, I, I look back in history and I think, well, I wonder how many people said that about manned space flight or even just manned flight when the Wright brothers started. If they said, oh, you know what, someday someone's going to be flying in, in a plane like a bird they said, now you know what, it sounds too good to be true. So it probably is, it can't happen. Or heart surgery, open heart surgery, or heart transplant, the artificial heart, or any of the other wonders of the world that happen. What if we were to say, oh, you know what, it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. You know, the pessimistic people usually are never the ones that are, are creating things, not only for themselves, but for the people around them to better their lives. Um, they're usually the one questioning the, the optimism and the, and the people who are out there taking chances. So this is what I want to I want to say to you. If you're in a position, if you're in, if you if you find yourself saying if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. This is the challenge that I have for you. If it sounds too good to be true to you, then instead of saying it probably is, I challenge you to grow yourself enough so that you can have the percent the perspective to see it as a possibility five figures a week that's a, that's that's five hundred thousand dollars a year we all know somebody maybe not personally but we all know somebody that's making five figures a week so if they can do it then why do you call BS on it on its head why do you say if it sounds too good to be true it probably is on its head before you even consider the fact that hundreds of thousands of people in the world are already doing it. Why can they do it and not you? Why is it BS for you but not them? So my, my, my challenge to you is, is to, if you find yourself saying that and you find yourself thinking that, then find a way through personal development and personal growth and studying people that have done it to get to a place where your perspective is that it's possible because just because you say it's too good to be true doesn't mean it is so somebody else is benefiting on the goodness of that truth and because you decide to say it's, if it sounds too good to be true it probably is you stay small and you stay where you are. If you're the one that calls BS on its head and you say nothing can't be possible, that's choosing to stay small. It's choosing to stay comfortable. It's making excuse to say, I've done enough what I can do. It's staying it's staying in your comfort zone. And and that's not okay. It's not okay. Now I'm not telling you the way to do it, but I'm just telling you that you weren't put on this earth. To stay in a comfort zone. You were not put on this earth to play small. You were blessed with divinity. 
You were blessed with greatness. You were blessed with a purpose and a calling. And for most of us, it's a lot bigger than we can vision, than we can dream. And so that becomes on us to continue to grow ourselves to a point where we can continually see a greater vision for the things that we're supposed to accomplish. If you sit back and you say, you know what, I got enough money and you know I'm happy and all this stuff and whatever, you need to ask yourself, are you saying that because you are comfortable? Because I believe personally that we're going to be held accountable at the end of this life for not only how much how much we did to be good, but also how much we did to leverage our talents and our abilities. And if we play it small by the things that we choose, we're going to be held accountable for that. So it's your obligation to instead of saying, if it sounds too good to be true, what you need to say, if it sounds too good to be true, maybe it's something I want to look into. Instead of it sounds too good to be true, then it probably is. One's, one's a successful mindset, and one is a complacent and small mindset. Choose the big. Choose big, you guys. This is the one life you have. Choose big. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you're interested, I would love to have you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Or you can like my, my page at Jason Linford. And I appreciate you watching. Thanks. My new, my new.